Welcome back. Today I am running and gunning and I'm going to answer some questions about sugarcane right after the fountain. I've been making a lot of syrup videos lately because this is syruping season in the deep south. So you've probably seen my last couple of videos uh, where we're watching traditional cane pressing and we saw Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead and their cane pressing setup and boiling setup. But along with that, there have been a lot of questions like, how do you plant sugar cane? Or I think I'll plant some in the spring. Or where would I get sugar cane? And how should I plant it? So I'm just gonna try and answer those questions pretty quickly in a video here. I'm no sugar cane expert, but I have grown cane for over 10 years. And I have been in an island where cane growing was very common. We had fields of it near us. And I have learned from other smart people over the years. So I'll just share what I know and hopefully it'll keep you from making a few mistakes. So let's start with where do I get sugar cane? These are some canes right here that a friend of mine gave me at one of the cane pressings. I also got a few from Danny and Wanda. There are all kinds of different sugar cane varieties, but they are actually generally pretty easy to grow all the way up into zone seven. It's not as tropical as you think it is, even though it grows all the way to the equator. Up here, we just gotta keep it from freezing. But let's say you don't have a friend to give you sugar cane. Where can you get cane? No, I'm not gonna send you any. I know that question comes up a lot. I can't send you any. This is my cane. My sugar cane. But this cane here, I have seen just like it in a local farmer's market. If you are in the south, this is sugar cane harvest season. Do not wait till spring to get sugar cane. Go right now. Local farmer's market, oriental market, international market. Um, I saw some at a produce place in Bay Manette. I have seen it sold by the edges of the roadside in the Ocala area. Stop at those little farm stands right now because people are cutting cane and it's for sale. I saw it in the town of Atmore at Williams Station Day, the historic day. There is some you'll find in Bruton. You will find it in the Panhandle. You will find it all the way down to Orlando here and there. You just have to find people that have it and go look for those markets. And that is the cheapest way to get cane. Now another option for getting sugar cane is to get sugar cane online. You can buy it on Etsy and on eBay and you can get cuttings. But generally the cuttings are smaller than I would like. But uh, you can get it. It's just going to be much, much more expensive between shipping and the cost of buying it as a plant rather than just buying it as produce where somebody has a lot of it and they're just selling some extra cane at a market. When you get it off of uh, Etsy or eBay, it's going to be top dollar in general. So let's talk about planting sugar cane. This is the time of year that you buy it, and this is the time of year in a climate that has frost that you would also plant it. So zone 9, zone 8, zone 7, this is the time to plant your cane. And let me show you, as this hole gets dug, what a finished dug hole looks like. This is about six inches deep, dug into the ground. This is the wagon wheel method that we are doing here where you're gonna get a clump of cane and it's gonna all grow out of right here. So six inches deep, this will protect it from the frost. It's not gonna freeze down six inches. We are going to plant our cane in here and then we will simply cover it over and when it comes to spring, it will sprout out of there very happily. This right here is a planted wagon wheel. Thanks to uh, Danny at Deep South Homestead who planted his in wagon wheels and I loved the way it looked. I said, we're gonna do that here. We're gonna put this right into the food forest and we are going to make it a part of our food forest system. As you can see right here, this is food forest. This is what we've been working on. And we planted this the other day right before going to visit Danny and Wanda. And if we put in some beautiful little circles of cane, it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. It doesn't require us to make rows in here. We could just make these hills. And through the wonder of child labor, 
we can get this all done almost effortlessly. Sugarcane is very easy to grow. It's just a grass, and it is a perennial grass, and it will grow for a decade once you plant it. Some people say that after three years or so, the canes get less sweet and don't work as well, but other people have told me they've had stands of cane for a decade that have done just fine. So it may be that you just need to feed it a little extra. Cane being a grass, you can feed it with lots of nitrogen. It loves that. It's not going to not make canes because it gets nitrogen. It will be very happy with that. And if you have any kind of moderately decent soil, even so-so soil, I had horrible soil at my last place and we still got sugar cane out of it. It just wasn't as thick and as beautiful as we would have liked. But you can get sugarcane in a wide variety of soils. It doesn't have to be swampy. It doesn't have to be sopping wet. If you're in a very dry area, it's going to appreciate some irrigation, but otherwise uh, it's going to grow for you from the time of your last frost date and the soil warms up a little bit, it's going to start growing. And then by the time you get to October, November, when the frosts come in, you should have plenty of harvestable cane. It grows very fast if you feed it well. Just throw some compost around it, throw some decent soil around it. Um, you know, you can you could fertilize it with chicken manure or cow manure or urine or like any kind of nitrogen source. You could throw turf fertilizer on it and grow sugarcane and it will totally love you. So I plant them in the ground. I have done it in rows before. This year we're doing wagon wheels for fun. I've got a few rows in another area, which I'll show you in a second. But get it in the ground. Feed it when it comes up in the spring and you're good. Here beside my grocery row gardens, we have the chickens working on preparing ground for cane. They are manuring and removing grass for us. This area here has a few little mounds that we've already planted. There are nice neat rows of cane about three feet apart in here, which you'll see better when they come up in the spring. But this area, we had the chicken coop here and here and here, and that's the last square of what will be a cane patch. And it's pretty simple. I mean, you just let the chickens clear for you. When the chickens are done clearing, then uh, you just hack into the ground. And it's all nicely manured. Most of the weeds are out of there. The few plants that are still here, like this little lily, no big deal. We can knock that out with a hoe if we want to, or the sugar cane will just run over it later. It's tough stuff. And I mean, there's all kinds of paper goods and whatever in here. This is all going to rot down. We throw our, even our paper towels into the compost and uh, let the chickens shred their way through them and turn them into the soil. Compost everything. All right, so let's say you've got your sugar cane from the store or wherever you managed to get it. If you've got a whole sugar cane like this, how do you go about getting it ready to plant? So my son is going to show us here. First thing you do is you start taking these leaves off. You want to expose the joints if it still has leaves on it. Sometimes they'll be cleaned for you already. But you'll see the little planting buds underneath. Now when you get up this high, you can see that area, that's, that's no good. That gets cut off. But the planting buds, right there, that's a bud. Which you can see, that's where a new cane will grow from, that's where a cane will grow from. That's where a cane will grow from. And so you're gonna take, you wanna, I like to have about three or four growth buds in a section. And then that right there is your planting piece. And this one, where it gets soft at the end, that can come out. So these two are going to get planted.
So for the last step here, before we cover it over, I know I said fertilize it in the spring, but it will find this cow manure in the spring. So we went out to the field, got some cow manure. You actually don't have to worry about graze on contaminated manure if you're growing sugar cane, because it being a grass, it doesn't matter. Now you may not want to eat it, but I'm putting these right here in the middle. When these things grow out their leaves and they start growing their roots out in the spring, they will find this and should be very happy. But I'm not gonna throw any fertilizer on it that's really gonna affect it much, you know, this time of year. Um, we don't wanna throw fertilizer on it. It would just be a waste, but this will be okay. Now all we have to do is cover this over which is easier said than done because we cut lots and lots of grass out of here. Heart is pumping, the road flies by. Will we make it? We have to try. Chasing twilight with two high beams. Is this real or are you a dream? So for the last step, now that we've got this area covered, you just need to mulch with something. This is just to make sure you have a little insulated blanket. You could just have soil, but I like a little extra. Remember that air is a great insulator, so something loose like leaves or straw, you know, that's an excellent mulch. Just throw it down there and this will keep it nice and warm through the season. Plus you'll get a little bit of decay, hopefully, which will feed the soil later. If you already have cane that you've harvested and you have the old cane material, all of the leaves that you strip off and whatever pieces you don't use, you can also throw them on top. That's pretty traditional. Chop it down and use the cane debris to make your mulch layer on top and an insulating blanket that will get you through the winter. We've done this quite a few times. Thank you for joining me. I hope that was helpful. We're kind of running and gunning today since I'm shooting on my own. But if you want to grow sugar cane, remember there are multiple uses for it. You can make sugar out of it, you can make cane syrup out of it, and you can make other things out of it that we probably shouldn't talk about on YouTube. Suffice it to say that sugar cane should be part of your survival crop arsenal if you are in a place where you can grow it. Now remember, if you live further north, past zone seven, you know, you might even be able to pull off some cane in zone six, I don't know. But if you're that far north, you can grow sorghum. And if you're farther north than that, you have the benefit of being able to tap trees to get syrup and make your own syrup and sugar that way. But this is what we do down here in the deep south and I appreciate you all joining me. So maybe that clears up uh, you know, how you should plant it, when you should plant it, where you should get it, and all those kind of questions that I tend to get in the comments. And remember, this is the time of year to plant cane. This is your opportunity right when it's been harvested. Don't wait until spring to go find some. If you want to plant some, now is the time. Go get some while it's available and get it in the ground and then in spring you will have your own little sugar cane patch. Thanks for joining me. Catch you all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.